Welcome to my 5 minute tutorial for Second Chance, a flip and write game. So what's the goal of the game? Well, players are going to fill in puzzle tiles on their individual player sheet and hopefully by the end of the game they will have the fewest empty spaces left. If that's the case, you win the game. So how do I determine what puzzle to draw into my personal grid? Each round, players will select between two cards that are flipped over and draw one of those designs into their personal grid. If either choice does not fit into your grid, you get a second chance. More about that later. Let's set up the game. Every player is going to receive one personal player grid. Notice that they are front and back, so you can play essentially two games on just one sheet of paper. Make sure every player has a pen or pencil, and if you want to, grab some colored pens or pencils. Those work great for this game. Clearly display the available puzzle tiles that are available in the deck. Shuffle up the deck that has the yellow sunflower on it and shuffle up these starting cards and make sure every player gets one start puzzle tile card. Players will flip theirs over and see a very unique design. Draw that particular design onto your personal grid where at least one square goes through that center space with a small circle in it. Place those starting cards back in the box once all players have drawn their starting tile into their grid, the game is ready to begin. Have one player flip over the first two cards and lay them side by side. Every player chooses one of the puzzle tiles to then draw into their personal grid. Multiple players can choose the same puzzle tile card. These cards are not given to any player, they are simply looked at and then drawn into the personal grid. As soon as all players have drawn a puzzle tile, reveal two new cards on top of the previously placed cards. What's important when drawing your puzzle tile into your grid? The first thing is that you can rotate and mirror whatever design you see. What that means is you're able to twist and turn and flip and rotate that particular shape in whichever way you want, as long as it can still fit into your grid. You're allowed to draw your puzzle tile shape adjacent to an existing shape or off by itself. It doesn't have to connect in any way to previously drawn puzzle tiles. What you're not allowed to do is change the location of previously drawn puzzle tiles. You're also not allowed to overlap or draw on top of previously drawn puzzle tiles and you're not allowed to draw in a way where your puzzle tile will go outside of the borders of your grid. For example, if I flipped over these two puzzle tile cards, I might select this one and place it here. It's easiest to outline your puzzle tile shape and then fill it in with a unique design to differentiate your puzzle tile shapes from each other. Now we're back to what a second chance means in this game. Let's say that neither of the puzzle tiles flipped fit into your grid even when you twist it, you turn it, you flip it, you mirror it, they just don't fit. You get a second chance. What you will do is draw the top card from the draw deck and reveal it. This is your second chance. This card does not apply to any other player. If you are able to fit that shape and only that shape into your grid, you're back in the game. Fit that shape into your grid by drawing it as normal and now you will rejoin the game in the next round. Your second chance puzzle tile card is discarded and no other players are allowed to use it. You are allowed to receive multiple second chances in this game. Let's say your second chance didn't work. The card you flipped over doesn't fit into your grid. What you'll do is take an empty space in your grid and write the number one in one of those empty spaces. Essentially that takes up one more space that you don't have to count against your score. The game ends in three ways. If all players have dropped out, the deck runs out of cards, or someone fills their grid entirely. 
Now that the game is over, count all of your empty squares and that's your score. The player with the lowest number wins the game. Second chance requires critical thinking, problem solving, decision making, and probability. So take advantage of all the information you have and design your grid in a way that you think will best optimize the remaining puzzle tiles. Have a great time with Second Chance.